Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's WK Dad. Um, last video, you guys asked me to talk about the Salomon Green matchup. Um, so on this side, I've got some of the relevant Salomon Green cards. And over here, I have some of the relevant cards that we're running in our deck. A lot of people have gone to 3 Ash, 3 Valor. I actually think that's a good idea because it realistically, the only deck that has a chance to, the only other deck besides the Mirror that has a chance to beat this deck is uh, Salomon Great. Uh, just because of their easy access to Abyss Dweller and the 15 plus hand traps that that deck runs. And with saying that, <clears throat> think about that. The deck only the deck only needs to run 10 or 11 main deck monsters, engine card monsters, to make the deck function. And then it runs about 15, uh, 15 hand traps. Usually in a deck like that, you, you know that's, that's kind of indicative of of the deck. So it's telling you that the deck inherently is fair and they use hand traps to supplement it. Because if you've ever lost against Salaman Great, you didn't lose to their monsters. You lost because they interrupted you with hand traps backed up with traps. Because let's face it, our monsters, our main deck monsters and extra deck monsters are inherently better than theirs. So we have to use our resources wisely. Um, so in the case of Heat Leo, he gives us an arrow pointing towards us. And if you know you're going to kill him this turn, Light Stage becomes your best friend. Light Stage, locking down their back row, smash two monsters together, extra link, your Cerberus, they're going to get back a card, but it doesn't matter because they can't use it that turn. If they've got um, Mirage Stadio over there or whatever, Cerberus, pitch a card, pop, draw, that helps you uh, keep your card advantage, and then go into your combo. Of course, you get called by call by the grave to help you mitigate the hand traps, but this is an interaction to keep in mind. Because um, if you go here and you pitch and they roar you, you don't get the draw, you don't destroy anything, but you don't lose your monster, and you baited the roar, and now you can go into combo because Cerberus' continuous effect while he's calling prevents him from being destroyed by card effects. Super, super relevant. Uh, there's been times where um, I've been able to extend and after I've Cerberus, I've gone into uh, Phoenix and popped the back row and drew a card and then mashed them together for uh, Unicorn and then hit another card and then my last card in hand start my nightmare combo so there's there's ways to you know play around their cards just try to manage your resources it's really it, it's, a, it's a struggle just, just mainly because of their hand traps in the case of Dweller again life stage becomes your friend main deck in Twin Twisters is a must and Dina has 2,000 attack. It runs over Dweller all day. Okay? Uh, just remember that. You give up your battle phase. And the reason why I say that is because you don't want to You don't want to link this off. You want to make sure you clear, uh, clear Dweller. You can't, let them have, you can't let them lock you down for two turns. So go ahead and give up your battle phase. It's okay. And then try to combo off. If you can Corbane and push through a connector and combo from there that's great um, because you're actually you want two other extenders you want to keep Corbane live you want to be able to put that extra body on board if they make another way to Mirage Stallio you want to use you want them to have the Mirage Stallio uh, be less effective and having a bigger body on board it uh, will be greatly helped will greatly help that cause so that's enough about that. Hand traps. For me personally, I don't like the Ash or Valor Foxy. Let them have their Foxy. 
I don't like the va um, Ash or Valor or Ash or Valor their bay links. Let them have their bay links. That's fine. I'm saving my Ash for Stalio and Cyanet Mining, especially if they pitch Cyanet Mining for Cyanet. If they pitch Cyanet Mining to activate Cyanet Mining, I'm ashing that all day because that means their hand is trash. Um, I'm saving Valor for Heat Leo because that's how they get a lot of their advantage back after comboing off. So now they don't get to get their traps out of the grave. They don't get to get their gazelle back for next turn or their whatever back for next turn. Uh, so that's super critical. I know it'll, I know it like when you see them start to combo off, you want to just ash that, ash that uh, foxy as soon as it drops. You want to Valor that Bay Lynx as soon as they uh, go to activate effect. Just let them have it. Just let them have it. Wait for them to reincarnate Link, the Sunlight Wolf, and then on the second reincarnate Link, and they activate effect to add stuff back, Valor that sucker. Their turn usually ends right there. Uh, they end up with a subpar board, and it goes for Phantasmia as well. Uh, wait until they've reincarnated linked the sunlight wolf if you can see a path for them to reincarnate link try to hold it as long as you can to drop it there because at that point they've used so many resources they can't set up an out for phantasme gives you a chance to fix your hand you've pretty much seen what they've got set up and you know how your hand needs to look like you can sculpt your hand to deal with their uh, board and one last thing I wanted to mention was that uh, side decking. Side decking is super crucial. Um, if you don't have impermanences, um, Forbidden Chalice. I side three of them, and it's mainly for Bist Dweller. <laughs> I don't care about giving Bist, Bist Dweller higher attack. I just can't lose to a Bist Dweller. I don't want to lose to a shitty card. You understand what I'm saying? So I, that um, Bist Dweller takes that. Um, also, uh, evenly matched. I like evenly matched against this deck because a lot of players are now prioritizing uh, rage over roar. They don't generally expect Orcus players to side evenly matched, and so they're just going to have roar. So the best thing they're probably going to keep is their dweller. But if you uh, chalice that. They'll keep their Sunlight Wolf with the Bay Lynx in the grave to protect it. But the Ingreaser doesn't care about any of that. He'll just send it to the grave. Alright, so that's it guys. Let me know what you think. Um, any more uh, comments, suggestions, anything else you'd like to see. Um, whether it be combos, scenarios. Uh, just leave a comment down below. Dub K Dad and I'm out.